We're going to get into shaping objects. So what I'm going to do is grab this menu and bring it down here to see how to use the shaping tool. Now shaping tool can be used with vector files and with embroidery files. I'm going to right click on here, bring up the properties. I'm going to make a fill pattern in here and then I'm also going to take off the outline and have no outlines. With this, I'm going to right click and drag another piece over here. Instead of changing through there, you can select the bottom of the screen to change a fill pattern of a vector. Now, I'm going to kind of overlap this together. And when I grab these two, my shaping tool comes up and has multiple things I can do. The first one is weld. That is welding two objects together. I'm going to undo that by hitting Control Z. The next one is intersect. That means where it's overlapping, it's going to keep the middle section. Undo that. The next one will be exclude. That means it will minus the one in the middle. And then because I have the one piece in front and back, if I do that, next one, it minus the back. And then if I want to keep the white objects, I will minus the front. The next one is flatten. Now flatten means it will break the two objects apart and remove overlaps as you see there. Now I have that back to normal. By selecting all the objects on there, I will have the next one is divide. That will make three sections in there. You may not see it here, but if I grab here, it actually made a section over here. Let's undo that. Once again, I have my objects complete. Com grab them all, and then at the divide, we have combined. That means if you have overlaps, it will combine the objects. One thing I like to do is for a combine, I kind of like to make that second circle overlap. I'm going to actually bring this uh, to the front of the object so you get a better understanding. Now, it looks like they're, they are actually one piece here, but if I have it, and then I say combine, it makes one complete object as a whole on there. Now, along with these combine and shaping objects, you do have the option to keep the uh, source objects. So if I have this in here, I can grab those and say keep the source and if I say combine, I do have my original objects left on there. Let's undo that. Now, also, you have overlaps on there. So I'm going to uncheck the key source. You have how much overlaps. One thing uh, CrowdDraw does not have on there is overlaps. If you bring it here, and I'm going to click on the overlaps on here, Grab the two objects. I'm going to exaggerate here. I'm going to bring it over to eight and say to uh, flatten the object. Now you will see here that it has created that. But if I zoom in here on the object and do the reshape tool, you will see there is an overlap on the red. So. Remember, you can do this with a fill pattern. So if I create a fill pattern from top to bottom and create a there, I have a fill pattern. Create another fill pattern here. I'm going to rotate this slightly. And now I got two objects here. One is being red, one being blue. If I grab all the objects and I want to keep an overlap there, I can do that and say flatten the objects and you will see the blue object is overlapping with 
the white object or the red object. So those are the samples of using those on there. So you can get uh, quite interesting effects. For example, uh, we're going to just create an object there and bring it down here. We're going to enlarge that. Now, we're going to grab all of our objects on there and you will see if I weld it together I now have Mickey Mouse. So the last thing I'm going to do is get into a very similar tool which is actually a hidden feature here called removing overlaps. So let's go over here and go to this uh, Mexican wolf. He is behind a sun there. So, I have grouped this Mexican wolf there. I'm going to take my true view off. And I group this, and I'm going to go to image or arrange and remove the overlap of that sun. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to define what's the minimum fragment I want to left behind, how close I want to overlap, and allow quartering spacing or not and the cutter what are the objects of the cutter so what's the minimum and maximum on there i'm just going to go ahead and click ok it's going to say one or more objects has been selected and cannot be used as a cutter so that means there might be some fragments in there that are very minimum probably run stitches on there i'm going to say ok and once that's done you will see if i grab that object that the sun has been cut where the previous it was a full object on there so that is the sample of the shaping tool along with removing objects